Hello, how are you? Well, I'm going to attempt to do my first makeup video here in my new home. And right now the setup is so not ideal. I've got clicky toed dog walking around, no matter how many times I try to make him lay down on his bed. He doesn't want to do it. I got workers downstairs, so there may be occasional uh, buzzsaw noises. And yeah, I don't even look very good in a turtleneck, so this is kind of what we're doing. Um, I'm going to be looking down in my mirror, which is not at the best level for me to show you things, but I guess this is just more gonna be about hanging out together. I think I might even wanna like change that camera angle just a little bit. Yeah, it's not art departmented. It's not art directed. Doesn't look very good right now, but. So, COVID-19, I'm staying at home. How about you? This is a new reality for us, isn't it? Um, hopefully you are in a position where you can stay home. If you are not, please stay safe. Please wash your hands. Please disinfect things. You know, the best we can do to protect other people is to stay inside. And I just got back from a flight to Portland. I had to go to Portland for 24 hours for a job. And so being on the plane there, on the plane back, and a couple of airports, I decided that the best thing for me to do was just to stay inside for a couple of weeks because you know, I think about my mother, and my mother is 78 years old, and my mother is not in the best health. And what if I contracted something but was asymptomatic, but I passed something along to her, or to somebody else's mother, and it was fatal? So I'm not going to do that. Even though I am perfectly hale and hearty and healthy, I am staying home in order to prevent the spread. That being said, I got lots of time to make videos, so I just thought I'd put on some makeup today. Uh, this is not gonna be a very exciting makeup video because I feel awkward in this space and I have somebody coming pretty soon, so we're just gonna throw some basic makeup on. Uh, don't love my haircut. It's this much too short, but it will grow. Okay, I am using all of the same cosmetics that I have been using in all of my last few videos because this is what I have handy. I'm going to mix some of my foundation with a moisturizer that has an SPF 50 sunscreen. Why, I don't know, because there is no sun. It is raining today. Uh, it's going to be raining for the next few days, but I am going to be outside for a little bit, even though it's cloudy and overcast and rainy. Uh, so just in case, I'm using some sunscreen. This is my Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery. It's an SPF 50. I am down to about this much in there, and I'm just really trying to use this up before I move on to something else. So I'll get some of that. And I will mix that with my NYX Bear With Me foundation. Got about a 50-50 mix there. Actually a little more moisturizer than foundation. And I'm just gonna mix them together and swirl them on my face. It's not gonna be the best coverage, but you know, you don't have to look like you're on the fashion runway all the time. Sometimes you can just slap on a little bit of makeup just to look pre presentable. <laughs> and there's not a lot of foundation here, so it's going to be quite sheer. Do you need 
you get through, Kiko? Go on your bed. There's your bed. There's your stairs. Stairs to the bed. No, he changed his mind. Okay. Actually, I really like how sheer this is. Is That's kind of how I want my foundation on a regular basis. Almost nothing. really like it this year. I don't know how it looks on camera, but in person, I like it. For my under eye concealer, gosh knows I need a lot, uh, we're gonna do the Color Science Total Eye. I like to blend that in with my Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush, which may be redundant, but my phone rang, which shut everything off. I'm going to use my RCMA No Color Powder. Way too much powder. This is a really super no makeup, no makeup looking makeup. That doesn't even make sense, does it? I'm off my game. Sigma Blush, this is available on QVC and they did send this to me for free. And I believe it's, oh gosh, it's been a while since I made a video, I've forgotten. Is it $48 on QVC? I'm not gonna quote any prices because my brain's not in the game today, sorry. but. It's available on QVC and they did send it to me for free and I'm really enjoying it. I like being able to have all of these colors to play with so that I can put on a little sunshine. And a little pink in my cheeks. It looks like I got a bunch of sunshine right there that I didn't intend. Yeah, well. So I like having all the different colors to play with. Let's just smudge that out a little. There we go. I definitely need some lips. We've addressed my lip drawer and all the stuff that I neglected to pack. Ooh, I have something in my purse. Let me go get that. Where is my purse? We're not really established in this house yet. I don't even have a space yet where I set my purse every time. Eesh. This was also sent to me for free. This is by Joja Cosmetics, and the color is blushing. Not gonna even bother with a liner, I'm just putting it on. This is, this is really just everyday no makeup makeup. Or just a little bit of makeup.
I'm gonna hit the brows a little bit using an angled brush. And I got this at the drugstore. If it's Elf Cosmetics and it is their Summer Breeze palette. And it's nice because it's all matte and you can see just really good basic colors. This is wonderful for traveling. I'm gonna use this one right here. Just a little, just to punch up the eyebrows a bit. A little bit of eyeshadow. Um, we got a kind of a pink thing going on, so let's stick with it. I'm gonna do this one right here. Let's do just a little bit of this soft on the lid. And a little bit of the ivory, just to blend the edges. It softens the edges. If you are blending challenge like I am, taking a white or an, an ivory or a buff or a slight, you know, just a light vanilla color, depending on, I guess I should say as close to your skin tone as possible in the lighter range is a great way to blend out and soften those edges. Lately, I haven't been into using a liquid eyeliner I have been enjoying using a flat brush and a dark shadow and just sort of tapping it a little bit along the lash line. Yeah, I can't hold that. I can't hold that and see. So I guess I'm gonna go in with just barely being able to see. just a barely, barely accenting the lash line at all. Lately, I'm just really enjoying that. I think, feel like it's a really soft, romantic look. I am in a tight line using my black lace Sephora eye pencil. Give those lashes a quick curl. Tarte Mascara in Lights, Camera, Lashes. And that's it. I gotta say, I feel better already. You know,
Being cooped up at home during this time, you get to feel a little like, I don't know, like you're sick. Get up, take a shower, put a little bit of makeup on, do your hair a little bit, put some clothes on. Try to embrace this time and do something that you've wanted to do around the house, but you just haven't had the time for, you know? It's a good time to knit if you enjoy knitting or, or stream YouTube videos if that's your thing or make YouTube videos if that's your thing. If you have wanted to start a YouTube channel but you just couldn't do it, you know what? Take the time now, do it or paint the closet or paint the bathroom or do something positive around your house that you've been wanting to do, but just could never quite find the time. While we're home, take the time, do it. And if you are not staying home right now, if your job, like my boyfriend's job, requires that he go out every day, please stay safe and take care of yourself and take care of everyone around you. And I love you bunches. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. I'll talk to you very soon.